Jacob? Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh. She's safe. So they didn't tell us the, the, the last third one. Oh, it was Haley, but Haley's safe. So it's not between Jacob. Oh, I think it's better if he stays uh, in his... Yeah. So. Hey, here's something. Here's something semi-interesting. Here's, uh, here's something I don't mind showing off. My, uh, let me turn on the light here. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, I think we can, you know, we, actually, I can show you this record collection. I can show you my zebra owls. Just to, right here is uh, the, my, my, my record collection, or half of it anyway. Oh, here we go. So, I, all, all the artists that have influenced me all through the years, we had all the Beatles stuff and Black Sabbath and Blue Oyster Cult and The Doors and uh, Electric Light Orchestra and Grand Funk Railroad and you got the uh, Jimi Hendrix here, Heart. But, of course, Zebra, Randy Jackson will be downstairs in the other part, so if we want to go back down there, I'll show you these Zebra albums and we can, uh, and then those of you who uh, don't know who uh, Randy Jackson is, maybe, oh, wait a minute, I, I know his face, we can take a look at who Randy Jackson is, so. We just flip the light on down here. Right, that's their first album. This is their second album. I got this autograph by Randy's too. No Telling Lies. And I got their third album as well. This is their third album. I think I'm going to bring this up to get out this year to get this autograph. So uh, they also have a, they have a fourth album. He's got a solo album. We're going to, I'm just going to maybe change my shirt and uh, we'll head over to uh, Lyric Studios where Steel Wolf has rehearsed for many years. And, uh, teacher for New York City, I teach uh, literature, uh, all the American classics, Shakespeare classics and stuff like that. It's fun. To Kill a Mockingbird, Great Gatsby, Ethan Frome, Red Badge of Courage, Inherit the Wind. So I'm boiling these, uh, we just boiled, hard boiled some eggs uh, for the Easter holiday. I'm going to uh, rinse them with cold water and uh, Put them in this uh, rack so my kids can uh, 
diving tomorrow. Tomorrow's Good Friday. to the uh, Steel Wolf uh, jamming room. <laughs> So Gedaita, Camp Gedaita, what's it all about? Well, Camp Gedaita, I think, is the dream camp that we had, or and I should say Ed Kaziz, because it's his vision, had when we were in our youth. Like, wouldn't it be amazing if camp was maybe this this party where, where there was bands and stuff? And of course, when we were in our uh, teens, drinking and uh, uh, was uh, forbidden in the camp, and uh, actually even even radios were forbidden in the camp, so we'd, we'd have to keep the radio kind of low, and if we were playing it, they would tell us to, yeah, hey, uh, you know, uh, you know, Tila, which is, you know, silence in uh, Lithuanian, and they would, you know, tell us to put it away, and sometimes they take our radios away and stuff. So I guess now, 40 years later, when we're, when we're calling the shots, we can make our own camp, and Ed Kizis has made his own camp, Gedaita. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's plenty of drinking. Not that it's a drunken mayhem weekend, but maybe it is a little bit. So why is Gedaita so important to you guys? Because it's, it, it's a slice of our youth, you know, back. Take your fingers from my hand They have gotten us so well Last year, I mean, there must have been close to 50 people there and uh, I just stopped and hugged each guy. It wasn't like, it, there was not one person there where I had to, you know, do like a, oh, who are you kind of, no, it was literally, wow, hug. Oh, hug. Oh, wow, hug. Take your memories and your ways. Let me see a brighter day. And, uh, right, the whole, the whole pack, the whole troop uh, is back together, reliving that, but now as adults and Kind of like I guess our, it's kind of uh, giving back to the community that kind of gave us so much. We still we we we're giving back to that community now by being leaders in the camp for the current kids. What did that what, community give you? Kids? Well, it gave us you know the the eternal friendships that we that we now cherish. I mean, Ed Kaziz, you know, we're the best of friends, and uh, and that and and that is a direct um, result of us going to. Scout camp and Nettinga and, and Lithuanian school and Lithuanian scouts here in New York. And when we go to these meetings, he would be the guy. Hey, well, Ed's here. You know, you know, this is a, you know, nine, ten year old boy, eleven year old boy. You know, and when I would see him, I mean, he'd be the guy I'd beeline for, and we would, you know, be together. And then as that grew, that friendship grew. Then the band started, and he was. We, we, we formed the band together in the beginning. First beer. It doesn't, it's not long enough. First beer. I need this much room. Just like mom used to make. <laughs> Just like right. mom used to make. That's right. And this is Stu Wolf's playing again. But now we're the opening act. <laughs> 
And there's an opening act for us. Uh, Ed had uh, said, listen, uh, you know, Steel Wolf will open for Randy Jackson. And then the idea said, hey, wouldn't it be crazy if the, an, another band opened for Steel Wolf? You know, like make it a, a, a festival kind of thing. And uh, Rusty's name came up, and that's who it's going to be. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Yay! Welcome to Camp Get I Did Too. We're going to start off this concert with the lowercase G's. All right. How are you guys doing? Yeah. are the only animals that have feathers they are warm blooded and have lungs to breathe birds lay eggs the young are hatched birds live on land They are warm blooded and have lungs to breathe. Birds lay eggs, their young are hatched. Birds live on land. And they'll be opening for us. And I've always wanted to play with him as well. He's been a good friend for about a decade now. And I, we always kind of talk, man. We, when, I, when I get together with, together with him, it's just like the conversation I'm having with you guys. You know, it's just, just nonstop music.
And this is the best one. This is the, the we're going to ask him to because we're going to actually, you know, since since Ed's kind of putting this whole concert together, we're going to ask him to do the whole first album in its entirety. Uh, so you got the classic "Tell Me What You Want" and uh, "Slow Down." That's a cover there, and uh, "Who's Behind the Door," which Steel Wolf fans know was heavily uh, influential to Ed. Uh, with some Steel Wolf songs that he wrote uh, in the late uh, 80s. There. <laughs> well, the band started in 82, and the lineup has changed several times. I'm the, actually the only continuous member since... Uh, and Ed would be the second most continuous member, but then he left about 10 years ago. And basically, Paul, Paul more or less became his replacement but Paul had been in the band earlier even when Ed was in the band I mean the lineup is gone we've, we've been as many as six guys we've gone down to as few as uh, we've been a trio so because uh, uh, there's there's many years when I would drum and sing at the same time so uh, actually we don't really know each other at all we actually hate each other immensely but we tolerate it <laughs> we're brought together by this uh, individual He's a coagulant. The, he's the glue. He's the glue, that's it. He's the horse. The horse glue. He's the persist <laughs> persistent pest that keeps us together. <laughs> Basically. Come on, guys! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go one, two. You want to just cut that part? Yeah. And then, uh, so why don't we just why don't we just end it right after that?
I picked these up recently. Last Saturday, August 16th, was Record Store Day, National Record Store Day. And uh, strangely enough, I found these two albums uh, for a local uh, radio station, you know, WBAB, which has actually played Steel Wolf, but uh, more significantly, they have played Zebra. And these albums, they, the radio station put these albums out back in the early 80s. And of course, in the early 80s, who was big in uh, Long Island? But Twisted Sister and of course, Zebra. So we got Zebra there with Randy Jackson on this one today. There's a picture of Randy Jackson on that one. So that'll be, uh, I'm actually, I might even bring these up to uh, get at the two. I, I can't so. remember this title being on any Zebra. I might have to double check, but uh, maybe we can even ask him to play that at get at the, hey man, do for the record. And he'll go, what? And that's from the Son of Homegrown album that you put out for WBAB. So uh, we'll see if that comes. Uh, whoa, look at the time, man. I think we should get down to Lyric Studios and, uh, Rehearse with Steel Wolf for the big uh, concert. Next coming up is going to be the Krupnikas contest. So, yay, Krupniko te se egaletu griste priaprudo. Prasho. Argideo. Prasho and Prona. Pona. Hey, pull me back here.
we have entry number one, Mati. Claudio Domaitis. Jackson. How cool is that? You're Dude, it's amazing. Please, no. no. <laughs> I told Crazy. one of the are standing right here, and I go, Captain Nesopranti, because the man is moving by Kai, Master Stovi Cloudable, it visa Savigali, take the you music guy to grow. Of course, visa Savigali. He's like, take right? Yeah. And I'm like, unbelievable. Unbelievable. It really is. Now don't put your guitar out too now, you know? Mark said he was a real influence to you, right? Huh? His yeah, this guy was a big influence for us. Not bad, baby. As, as equal as uh, Eddie Van Halen and uh, I just, Black Sabbath and Ozzy. And... It should be very interesting. <laughs> cool. Inc incredible scene. Just absolutely incredible. I've been wasting my time. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm losing my mind. My head's on the floor. Forevermore, I have given you all. Oh, all that I have. With the stab of the door, you tripping. Speaking about Randy Jackson of Zebra, my kids are uh, probably watching the other Randy Jackson of American Idol fame upstairs right now. Maybe we should go check him on. Check on him. Come on. <laughs> you guys are watching American Idol? Yeah. Okay. Oh, do you want to sit over there? Can sleep? Yes. I thought you. I thought. I thought Lindsay was going to stay with you. I thought that was the plan. That's what she said. Okay, as long as Dean doesn't get disturbed. Okay, okay. how was handball? Good? Okay. Scotty was saying. Is he videotaping us? Yes, he is, as a matter of fact. Oh my god. So. And then the, you know, the conversations are all, how you doing now, and you know, what life is like now. And we're all pretty much in the same boat. Uh, family, kids, uh, working, houses, that kind of a thing. And it's just great to talk about where we were 20 years ago. Uh, how we all kept our 
hands in the Lithuanian uh, world and how it's great to uh, see each other all together. Some of us do see each other here and there, but not in this collective group the way we did see each other back in the day. There's a wheel that turns our fortunes. There's a light to lead the way. You know, when we first mentioned it, it sounded really just like a big party, which it is still. I mean, it is a it is a, it is a party atmosphere, but it's so much more than that because at a party sometimes you meet people for the first time, and I mean that's great because there's a get to know you kind of a thing. But this is this is just people that it, 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 it's a reunion. I mean, that's it's it, I guess that would be the closest thing to uh, like a high school reunion, but of guys strictly only people that we uh, knew in the camp. Because he's, you know, he's, uh, I consider him my best friend, and I know he considers me his best friend. He, he was my best man at my wedding. I was his best man at his wedding. I stood Godfather to his uh, firstborn. So, uh, you know, we're, you know, we're the best of friends, and uh, and that and and that is a direct um, result of us going to scout camp and Nettinga and Lithuanian school and Lithuanian scout camp. Never feels the pain. Will never feel from a love that's going nowhere to a heart that feels a pain. Hey guys, strictly the only people that we uh, knew in camp. It was like a camp reunion. It's, it's, really like it's, it's just so great uh, bonding with. Uh, I gotta pick up my stick here. Uh, bonding with everyone again and again. That's right. Okay. okay. Just wing it.
You have nothing to say? <laughs> well, at, at, at this point, we, they're not looking for smart. Right, you know what? Let's give him a hand, huh? Hey, come on, everybody. You know, he came all this way. Oh, you really made this way. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you, guys. Let's have a hand for Steel Wolf, and happy birthday, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. 